one drawing is over, man. Round two, Woodrow Ryan, another shark. So here I am, a minnow in the sea, and here comes Ryan. He just he's about to eat my lunch. I'll at least treat his ass. I can do that. I don't need horsepower for that. So round two, I draw Eric Bain. I'm not going to say I'm not worried about him because he goes to A to B every time. He's been in some semifinals. Uh, you know, he makes some good passes. All right, here we go. Right side, Ryan Martin in the fireball. Curly sitting at the top of the catbird seat in the points. Up against Eric Bain. I'm just going to do my normal thing to outrun him. I'm sure he's going to try to guess at the light on me or something like that, but I'm just going to go A to B, leave when the light's green, and try to drive around him. swing for the fences. So I went up with me in my mind, hey, I gotta, I gotta leave before I see green because the time I react and the car reacts, usually you're good. I left just a tiny bit early. But I was out on him pretty good. Although you left a little early. I mean, I had to do something. Yeah. I thought the car was really gonna do something stupid, but it actually rolled out. <laughs> Carolina, what do you think so far? We started out with a whole parking lot full of fast guys and we're down to the fastest seven left in North Carolina. I'm gonna have this young lady hold this bucket. Her name's Dana. There ain't no sense in wasting no time, right? Let's find out who we're racing. Has anybody had a bite yet? <laughs> Looking like I'm gonna get left over here. There's not one in there. You gotta raise it there up. There it is. Again. What number's the buy? Number four will be the buy. That number one's a step up. We got Scott Taylor in the right lane versus Chuck in the left lane. First race, Mississippi versus 405. Good luck, sir. Hi, you too, buddy. All right, we need our number twos to step up. We got Larry Larson in the right lane versus Ryan Martin, left lane. Who's got our number threes? B Red in the right lane versus Chris Boncia in the left lane. So the oh guy we did not God. want to have a bye, Birdman has the bye for this round. This weekend is our second to last event, and after a long season, some of our regulars couldn't get their cars to the starting line. We started with 28 racers in round one, which means there's a competition bye in this round. That gives Birdman a free five points towards his total, which puts even more pressure on Ryan to win his upcoming race against Larry Larson. All right, you guys get your cars ready, get up here, let's race, find out who's gonna make it to the next round. Good luck, everybody. Made it here to the third round. I draw Larry Larson. Um, There's about two people I didn't want. Larry was one of them. I'm trying to think of who's left. So you got me and Larson, Birdman, him and B-Rad, Fritz. Although you got to get by the fast guys to be the fast guy. But uh, I was hoping I could get lucky and maybe Larson take out Birdman for me and, and let me gain a little bit of points. But that didn't happen. Well, the problem is we're running out of fast guys to beat up on Birdman. Ain't nothing left. No. Like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be whoever gets by him out of Ian Larson. Check the bolts on the intake when it cools off a little bit, and then uh, I'll look at the data, and I end up with Ryan. Last race, we raced in the semis, and I got him by a foot. So hopefully I can do a little better job. Hang on to your seats right here. This is going to be a good one. Ryan Martin in the fireball, left-hand side. Larry Larson, twin turbo charge, S10 on the right-hand side. This right here could very well be a final in any race we've ever had. These two are strong. Him and I left pretty even. About at the 3.30, I saw him pull up next to me. I reached over to grab my boost button. The uh, car kicked sideways. I had to overcorrect. And uh, I think Larry got me by half a car or a car at the big end. It was inching him, but I just couldn't. I mean, you didn't even 
That sucks. It does. Hey, are you are you gonna be out of fuel for next round? No, we found some. Damn. <laughs> Larry Larson took out Fireball, and a buy round automatically gives me five more points. I'm ten points away from Ryan now. I've offered you a good amount of money just to take your truck and run into him right now before I can get over there. <laughs> if I go two more rounds and win this event, we're tied. So going into fourth round, lo and behold, draw chip number one, Birdman, one more time. Everything's been going pretty good this weekend. We had a little bit of issues this morning. First thing, got that taken care of. That little patch has been working all day long. And I feel like I have something for him today, but we're just gonna have to go up there and see. Larry's fast, man. Larry beat us once. How many times we beat Larry, like four? Yeah. But he's always, Always right, right there. there. Yeah. Drew Larry Larson in the semis. I think he was the fastest car to draw, too. It was a bad draw. Uh, I think I got the better lane, and I think I got the faster car. On your right, right here out of A-Town, Texas, you know him as a Birdman. Twin Turbo Charles Pontiac sitting number two on the points list, but climbing rapidly. Up against Larry Larson right here, left side. Twin Turbo Charge. Extended bed pickup right here. This is going to be a barn burner. Like, no kidding, I agree with you. Hell yeah, baby. Larry's always fast. We knew we had to put a good tune up in it. And my tuner, Chad, he, he did a perfect job, man. We got beside Larry, did the burnouts, backed up. We both staged. I cut him down on the tree, boy. I left on him. I never saw him again. Good job, bud. Good job. Fireball Camaro went out in the third round, which means uh, one more round to go. Right now we're five behind. If we win this final, we're tied with him going into Tulsa, and that's gonna be a badass race.